29 forecast. At 11 minutes past six, you are looking live at a gray, gloomy start to the Saturday morning as viewed by our East Market Street weather camera in downtown Charlottesville. A little bit of rain trying to fall from those clouds as well. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Now that's in association with the warm front and behind the warm front, the next big thing I'm tracking in front of the weather center is going to be a more summer like outlook, especially by Monday. As I first told you back last Tuesday, Monday would be the hottest day of the next several and sure enough, the forecast for Charlottesville is 90 degrees Monday afternoon. That's well above the average high in the lower 70s for this time of the year. In that first forecast for today, though, not so summer like we're going to see temperatures slowly come up through the 50s this morning with a chance for a passing sprinkle, a ground dampening shower through about the midday hour. And then after about one o'clock, any shower chance is long gone and it will be dry for this evening with highs mostly in the 60s area wide. And then as we go into tonight, it won't be nearly as cool as the past couple of nights. Storm Team 29's live Doppler radar network is showing some showers. There's a shower coming across areas of Albemarle County, Crozet, Ivy, Charlottesville along the I-60 corridor as we look outside in the weather camera. That's a little shower that we're seeing currently and we've got some light showers and sprinkles across the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg on down into areas of Augusta County and into the Stanton vicinity. As we go on to the south, we're seeing a little bit more in the way of showers pass over Scottsville and down to the south into Buckingham County. There we go as we go towards the Dillwyn area and a little bit of a more moderate shower crossing over the 56 corridor and Route 60, but overall it's going to be nothing all that organized or heavy. There's that warm front coming out of the Ohio Valley and the Appalachians. As this front moves through, it will eventually give us a big time warm up beginning tomorrow and lasting for at least the next week. The severe weather risk is staying across the heartland down from Texas into the Great Lakes. This is the main storm track and as the system heads our way the next few days, it will begin to weaken. So that's good news for us. But today, the top weather story, even the top news story will be tornadoes. More tornadoes likely from Kansas down to Texas. Yesterday, there were nearly 100 reports of tornadoes from Texas into Nebraska. High res weather tracker shows today that there's that shower chance between now and about midday. After 1 p.m., it's long gone, but the clouds linger. Lots of clouds overnight. And we'll get some breaks of sunshine tomorrow with that big time boost in temperature and high pressure will keep us dry on Monday. And now Tuesday, slight shower thunder shower chance. And then towards the end of the week into the start of next week and maybe another chance for a couple of showers and downpours, but nothing all that organized. And it will be much warmer than average as we head into next week. Highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. Today's forecast, a passing shower mainly for the first half of the day. Highs in the 60s and cloudy skies tonight, mostly cloudy and pleasant lows in the 50s and your forecast on Sunday, much, much warmer, partly sunny skies. Highs in the 80s, seven day forecast 60s tomorrow night, 85 to 90 Monday, slight rain chance Tuesday in the 80s. We're dry Wednesday, Thursday in the 80s and a small storm chance at the end of next week.